Joe. Hi, Gay. Happy Pride Month. <laughs> Happy Pride Month. We'd like to announce our new initiative. Um, we talked about it a little bit when our little social announcement here, but it is Pride Month. June 1st, it starts. Now, you can't... It's a, it's a, it's double fine penalties if you um, bother a gay during um, Pride Month. What are the penalties? Well, you may have to sashay away or, or, or lip sync for your legacy. <laughs> you have to lip sync for your legacy. <laughs> we made a big announcement on social. I hope you guys saw it. Um, Joey and I, we have always been into philanthropy, dear. And it's something for that's many years. very important to us. So we're releasing this limited edition merch out and about. It's actually like really nice stuff. And we're also doing now stuff. she's embroidered. We're also doing stuff with our uh, phrase for the month, Proud AF. And we're donating all the goddamn proceeds to the LGBT Center of New York. Oh, they're so cute. We've never done this many colored things before. I know. I actually shirts. really like these hats. I have, I'm sorry, I have gas. I have gas. I just chugged a do, fucking seltzer. Why don't you take a gas sex? No. You don't do that. No. I Nana like, doesn't I like, like pills. So we got the, the Proud AF shirt. This is what I'm wearing right now. It is so cozy and, and, and comfy. It's like a very soft t-shirt. Yeah. It feels like very vintage. And um, it comes in baby blue and baby yellow, baby pink and um, baby, baby pink. white and black. We also have dad hats. We have um, we have Bucket a regular hats. hat. We have a trucker hat. We have a tote bag. Did you get the pronoun mugs out for Pride? I think we should get them. We, well, it's also intern day. Oh. We walked in. We walked in, bitch. We know I heard about this was going to happen. I was so nervous. I sashayed right down the hallway in a pair of heels. I go, you gentlemen. So there's about 10 or not. Actually, there's nine like cisgendered boys, cisgendered hot college boys. Um, <laughs> cisgendered one, ho- already. One, already. This is an HR one violation. Girl, one girl. Um, Ew, where? I think I don't know. If that she, must have been a mistake. I don't know if she's, she works here or she's like. Um, that must have, she must she have lied on her a resume. Chaperone. Right? Maybe she's a chaperone. Does she have a butch name? I don't know. It's probably but like basically, Kyle. They're all so eager and like so cute and impressionable, <laughs> and I'm just like so excited to like make a good impression. Well, I'm really looking forward to having some. We want to do a contest with them where we want to say, 10 interns stand before me. Yeah. One of you will be lucky enough to rub suntan lotion on my upper thighs. Yeah. We're going to have them run in heels throughout the, through, like uh-huh. through a, a relay race in heels. You actually had an idea that you mentioned yeah. before the show for something that they could do with a pair of. <laughs> oh, well, I was going to have, I was going to put on our, well, actually, we only have one pair now, so I have to do it my solo. I was going to put on my silicone breastplate, have them. <laughs> um, <laughs> And while I'm wearing them, and whoever finishes first gets our gets the job. Gets the job. <laughs> now, I don't think that's a nature violation. I don't think so either. Because there's two breasts, right? And I think if you have two other guys holding the titties together to create the as friction, a team effort, right? I mean, we've all thought about Eiffel Tower, dear. We've all seen it on the silver screen. Yeah. We're just going to act it out here in person. You're in the big leagues now. This is Barstool Sports. Um, let's tell everyone what we're doing this month. If you want to see me and, um, me and Trish perform. <laughs> so inappropriate. Me and Trish perform. So inappropriate. We're performing at the Gay Pride Parade in New York City. Woohoo! Now, somehow, not, Trish and I made it just swindle we, our way. We tricked our way. We go, tricked Ms. our way Nardini. out of $100,000. We go, Ms. Nardini, we just, I don't need much. I just need a couple hundred K. Yeah, so we somehow, <laughs> like, we, we, I don't know what we did. a company like this, that's not much, is it? No, I don't know how we did it, but basically we got ourselves our own float, basically a huge truck with our faces on it. Yes. Um, and a hundred. That was your and idea. And a hundred queens um, walking around. Are you drinking a Red Bull? No, it's a Celsius. Um, so we have a hundred guests that are going to be sash- sashaying down the down the strip with us as well, and then we're throwing a hu- the biggest gay pride party ever. Uh huh. Um, afterwards, location TBD, but it's going to be at a very swanky hotel. Very swanky hotel, and there's going to be some. Um, we're going to have some chances for the Man Mafia to attend the party with us. Mm-hmm. There's going to be contests. There's going to be um, sashaying away. It's going to be a very, very, very emotional week. <laughs> um, but um, we're going to definitely come out and see us at the Pride Party and scream our names. We're going to be throwing out things. We're going to throwing out Pride merch. And we're all going to be wearing this. So we have the we have the Chevy Silverado. It's going to be wrapped in our faces. Joey was, they're like, you guys want Barcel or your faces? Joey goes, what do you think, dear? I think it should be about us. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be us. And everyone is going to be marching in these. Um, you have like Leah's friend. Leah's coming with her kids. Yes. Like my nephew is coming. It's going to be yeah. very cute. We're going to dress them in something slutty. All the kids. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Glitter. Glitter harnesses. I gotta you find so much leather paint faces. diapers. If you, you I, I need to make a part of some paint faces that day. Becca was saying that. Yeah. We need to find someone who, here who can do it. If only we had an in house. I could do artist. it, but I'm not doing it. Imagine Joey works it. No, I can't do that. No, I'm busy. I know. I'm but busy. we're exci- I'm like really. Hosting. I will say this on a semi serious note. Barcel has thrown their weight fully behind us this month, and we really appreciate that. Erica's exact words were if we're gonna do it, let's do it big. Um, 
which is also what Joey says in the bedroom. So we'll only be uh, featuring plus size people. So when she said, so when she said, I mean morbidly obese, y'all. When she said, let's do it big, I interpreted it as plus size. So I went ahead and I hired every plus size model here in the city. (laughs) Imagine we go, you said big. It's just a bunch of fucking pigs. It's a bunch of fat gays walking around. (laughs) Ms. Nardini, I was confused. Um, wait, so I'm just, I'm, I really am excited for the parade, though. So it's going to be hot, though. Well, gonna, I'm going to have to sit on the inside of the car with the windows, windows up. How many? <laughs> AC, AC Blast <laughs> with her fan the on. Fan. She doesn't even get out. How many shirts are we wearing? Um, You're going to have five or six easily. How many shirts am I wearing? Yeah, so you're going to change. You're going to sweat like a fucking lunatic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just going to have to top the top. Maybe I have to proudly have a sticker on my nipples. Mm. Oh, we have stickers, too, everyone. Yes, we have stickers. We're going to be handing it all out. Come to New York June 26th. We're going to be at the parade. Then we're going to be at uh, the party. It's very exclusive. And, and we're also going to be on Watch What Happens Live on June 14th. Yes. Are we allowed to say that? Yeah, we can say it. June 14th. They're going to like officially lock it in the next week here, but it looks like it's happening, folks. Nana and Trish are making their uh, late, late night talk show debut. Guest bartenders at Watch What Happens Live with yes. Andrew Cohen promoting the, gay, the good gay word. Yes. Of our, our, our charity initiative mm-hmm. um, so make sure to watch us there and if you guys can show up to the studio and like all like wait outside like we're Beyonce yes. and start screaming oh yes that's what we need we'll give you we want to like we'll pay so that, you guys we'll, we'll, we'll take you out to dinner after we'll take everyone out to dinner but we want like A 50 mob. to 60 people we want you to completely ignore but Andy, you do have to ignore make the you, guests it's all about us but you do have to take a census and make sure that everyone's representing at least three blacks someone right. in a wheelchair we have the most Asian, digre- we have the most Asian diverse. on crutches <laughs> and Asian on crutches now they had fans come man are they diverse yeah. Yeah, I need some, you know, stuff, definitely some kind of motorized scooter. Um, the jazzy, Abby Lee. I want Abby Lee Miller. I want really want to show up. Yeah. All is anyone else going to be there? Is it just us or do we not know? Uh, we know who the guests are, but we can't say. Okay. We can't say, but one of them is on Saturday Night Live. The other one is gay. Yeah, the other one's gay. Oh, um, there's going to be so many gays in the studio. Gays, gays, gay. That, now, that's, now, now, more than three is considered a gang, correct? Yes, okay. I believe so. Yeah. It's going to be fun. We're going to get you. Well, we're not, we gotta, we're going to have like two seconds of airtime. So we really got to make it count. I'm that's think, why I want to curse right off the bat. I'm thinking something political. Yeah. I'm thinking something, a divisive political should statement. Should we rip our shirts right off? Right-leaning evangelical. Wait, should we rip our tops off and have Trump shirts underneath? Yes, I think we rip it off. And I think we have something very, maybe something oh, about. Oh, do you think our friends from the... Um, Westboro Baptist will come and support us. Oh, that's what we want. Spam the Westboro Baptist Church. We want them that's every com- event we go to, we to protest. The, yeah, they want to, want to protest at the Gay Pride Parade, but specifically for us. A live show. I'm outside of bars, so I want them to do it. I want them to do it at our live show on July. When is those Kathy tickets going on sale? From Westboro Baptist. I think, in, I think they're going to go on sale in like the next week. If live event, Lisa, better get it together. Well, she has been so all over the place with our writer. All I asked for was an air gun that shot panties into the crowd. Panties, panties shields. Panties shields into the crowd. And she says, we don't have the budget. And I said, Lisa, I'm not getting on that it's stage. It's a non-negotiable. It, I'm not getting on the stage unless I have a panty gun. CO2 powered. I want to be able to take one of these ladies' heads off with some tampons. Yeah. Is that too much to ask? We need to find one. I'd love to. Um so yeah, have us about to show up everywhere we go, especially mm-hmm. to Watch What Happens Live on June fourteenth. Um, Juneteenth. Juneteenth. So speaking of, um, we have two of the best in the business here joining us today. We have Nick and KB of the Anus Pod. Don't laugh, Sandra, at that word. Thank you. It's homophobic yeah. during Pride Month. Yeah. Um, if you do want to laugh, you do have to hold the flag. That's true. Anything you want to say, dear, you can do that. We have Nick and KB on. Um, <laughs> It was very funny. It was a good time. They're crazy. We put really the whole reason we had them on. We just wanted to see KB in something slutty. Yeah, I mean, let's not lie about yeah, it. And we did not disappoint. And he, did not, I mean, the show. Let's the show we was subpar, to, but that ass him. was above the bar. We tried to what? muzzle him, and he wouldn't let us. Yeah, we tried to put a dog mask on him, and he refused. Oh, it. we had to have the interns wear those today. Yeah, we go. Oh, how funny would that be? You know what I'm talking about? It's like the pup mask. Yeah. No, no, we, none of this. None of the man mafia knows what we're talking about, but you'll see. You'll in a see second. what it is it's coming up. KB looks great. I was a little disappointed in the size and scope of the bulge, but I think he was wearing a tight panty, which may have tucked yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have talking panties as well. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be doing. Um, oh, so we're going to be going out to Staten Island to do a tuck reveal. Yeah. Oh, that's what we're doing. When is that? On Monday. Next Monday, oh, we're going out to the legendary Chris DeStefano's house. Oh, Monday house the sixth, we're going to Chris DeStefano's, Chrissy D's, yeah, Chrissy Comedies, Chrissy Precoms, um podcast at his house with TT Jerry. TT Jerry, no, we're going to do a live tuck reveal with the new panties I ordered. Are from. you going to? Would she bring her a tucking panty? I don't have an extra. She, we can share. We can all fit into one. Yeah, <laughs> right. We got the same. Um, yeah, I went to tuckitup.com. That's tuck it up with two two peas, um, and bought my my transgender panties. 
<laughs> it was very good. Well, I'm really excited for this month. This, ep- this episode with Nick and KB is very funny as usual. It's part of a two-part episode. So we did the first half. They have the second. Um, their show, I believe, will be out Thursday. So make sure to check us out on there and leave them a very nasty review. We're trying to get their show canceled. And all of our cameos this month, 100% of the proceeds are going to us. the center <laughs> as well. Is that and the true? center meaning the center of um, my bank account? My bank account. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's the center of the bank account. Listen, we got to make ends meet somehow. Uh, before we get to this, it's Pride Month, and Roback has the perfect polo for you—the Pride-themed tie-dye polo called the Yes. Couldn't have couldn't have us more excited for Pride Month. Uh, not only is the design amazing, but Roback will be donating twenty percent of the sales to at-risk LGBTQ youth. That's Are we some, at risk? That's something we can get. But I am. Definitely at risk. I think I'm, I've am i aged high out risk. of people caring that I'm at risk. I'm high risk. Cholesterol wise. Yeah. Interesting. Um, it's safe to say that Roback, that we love Roback and you guys should too. They make the best performance hoodies, polos, Q-zips uh, and tees. And we just love their subtle dog logo. It's like a lab. You've seen it. I, yes. have, the, I have it on my desk. Yeah, I have a yeah, white yeah. one that I got from Riggs. They sponsor foreplay. It's so lightweight. It's like that performance material. Yeah. So like on a nice cool summer night, you can wear it. You can wear it for sun protection. It's awesome. Um, oh, that's what that was? The, yes. What you gave me in the blue. Okay, yes. I have one. Okay. It's very nice. Um, so celebrate pride with Roback and uh, go to Roback.com and use code out for 20% off your first offer. That's R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com for 20% off all performance polos, Q-zips, tees, and hoodies with the code out 20% off of the sales uh, of the YAS tie-dye <laughs> go, uh, polo. Go to sport LGBTQ at risk youth. Now you are at risk for cholesterol. Correct. I am at risk for a sunburn. A sunburn because I got very sunburned. Oh, dude. This weekend, bad. Marty showed me his cheeks were sunburned. I mean, yeah, oh. my arm was really bad as well. Oh, I didn't t- go anywhere this, anywhere to see the sun this weekend. I saw a video he sent me late night. Um, or it was on your Instagram story of him doing full choreo. I was dancing my favorite song. What was it? My favorite song is, and I've been gatekeeping God, God this God hates for many, Yes. I've been gatekeeping <laughs> this song for many, many years. How um, is it? It's my favorite. It's the best song ever. It's very underground and no one knows about it. It's underground. But it's basically like the hottest jam ever. It's Britney Spears. No, it's not. What is it? It's called Body Talk by Foxes. And it is, no one knows about it, but she's like, she's like one of the biggest, the best performers in my mind. And I'm surprised that she hasn't blown up yet. But I think after this, she might blow up now. And I'm, I was gatekeeping her. But just know that I talked about her first. And do you get a, she blows a portion up, of sales? No, she, she ignores my DMs. How many people does she have online? I don't know, a couple, maybe a hundred thousand, maybe. Hmm. Well, we'd love to have her on the show. If she's, you know, I'm, 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 I'm just, I'm just, I'm just teetering. Um, I'm, I'm, almost, I'm, I'm, I'm actually gooning at one ninety nine k right now. What's I that? Just, I have one hundred ninety nine thousand followers. Oh yeah, I need, I need one more thousand follower. You started here with what one eighty something. 180 something, yeah. Wow. But I need, now I need, it's about 200. So if you don't follow me already, follow me at Mr. P79 on Instagram and um, tell your friends to do it. And if you get to, if I get to 200,000 by June 4th. You'll just do a, dick reve- a tuck reveal? No, I will. Blow. Yeah. <laughs> Eric and Argini. Anyone. Anyone. <laughs> anyone. I'll blow oh, anyone. We're going to be on Token CEO too. I feel like we're just advertising ourselves now. It we got some bit. great photos from the Man Mafia uh, in all their gear. It's all starting to come in. That yeah. dog one was nice. Stop. The hats, the dog. How cute was know, that fucking stop. dog? A little Pomeranian. The pet, the, uh, what else? The koozies. My friend had. Candace, I sent a picture of. Yes. Candace um, Owens? No. Oh. Should we have Candace Owens on? Who I would that? love to. She's the uh, very, very conservative African-American lady. Oh, yeah, I saw her. Yeah. Yeah. Her uh, YouTube channel had a, her original YouTube channel had a very uh, not safe for work name. Oh God! Yeah, it was tough. Can you tell me? And bleep it. Yeah, it was called uh, the Myth of the. Oh, my oh! Well, yeah. I'm <laughs> that was actually that's actually Joey's uh, Twitter burner. Yeah, I never watched it. Though. I never watched it. <laughs> believe it or not, mine's um, the poon though. The Myth of the Poon. Yeah. Hell, you got that bionic pussy. So, all right. So let's let's kick off Pride Month. If you want to get hot and horny, Nick and KB are coming up next, and um, you're not gonna you're gonna like what you see. I guarantee it. Thanks for listening. All right, so Joey, we're very excited about that charity initiative that we just talked about. Yes. Uh, But we do want to make a bit of a pivot because like I mentioned at the beginning of the show, it is Pride Month and we're kicking it off with two of our biggest allies uh, here at Barstool Sports, Nick and KB. Correct. From the Anus Podcast. That's right. Biggest Uh, ally? You're the biggest ally. Yeah. I think so as well. More like... 
owl eyes. Like we're looking at you. Like owl, <laughs> with all your <laughs> eyes, you're yeah. looking at us, looking yeah. out for us. Big ass eyes. Also, so, you're, you have a charity. We do have a charity. Yeah, Isn't we're that, on the board. Pat, we're on the board. Don't want to be on the Pat, you're yeah. like poor. Well, you know, I will be doing embezzling. What you know, prompted this said, charity thing? You guys um, aren't about this. The life. barstool fund. Well, we wanted to throw a party for pride, and that's yeah. the only way around it. Po- po- <laughs> so it's, it's for charity. <laughs> that's, it's there has they yeah. need a charity element. We're like, well. You know, I guess us being there is charity for the yeah. fans. So we're, giving, we're doing no. our part. Yeah. Um, but is it not but, but, charity? <laughs> you guys just fuck someone you correct. feel guilty about, like a child. But oh. then we give them money. Not a child. Nah. But we a give them money. Maybe. But like, what is the, what's, What's going on with the gays that they need charity? Are, gays are rich. Well, we're helping yes, out the. They the, are. We're helping out the, uh, the less youth. fortunate. The less fortunate the youth, like gonna, Owen, like Owen. Who, oh, by the way, we have outfit. Oh, and this is a two two hour show. We're doing the first half on our feed. The second half will be on their feed. It's going to be very great. Uh, it's called cross promotion. And very place. great. The so gayest episode. Owen actually ran out because he got uncomfortable. Got uncomfortable. All we asked him to do was slip off his panties. And slip on a dress. It wasn't a dress. It was a tube top we were going to make into a dress. Can you throw that over here, Marty? It has enough coverage. He's She's a small framed woman. He's a small framed. He's petite. All we wanted was this. That would have been enough coverage. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty big. Mm-hmm. We put this on the nip coverage and then that one was going to be on the bottom. But l- luckily, uh, Owen was going to wear that off camera. But what we decided to do was we just uh, we wanted to gift you guys some outfits to help you get into the spirit. It's the spirit. Uh, Pride Thanks. Month. Happy yeah. Pride. Pride. It's Month. a colorful. It's a colorful day, and there's many different roles in the gay community, gay, trans, lesbian community. But we th- we picked looks for each of you, and uh, that we think represent your character, your um, <laughs> and what you what you would be if you were gay. We kind of we picture you. I just need a full commitment before we do the reveal that you okay. will be wearing what we give you. I trust okay. you guys. It's like when you're in an exit row, they say like verbal a, it's yes, like a makeover. please. Verbally, it's a make. It's a makeover. And we're gays yeah. are perfect at makeovers. Kavi, you're comfortable. I yeah, I am. Great. I feel okay. like we're at like a reverse conversion camp. Yeah. Two yeah. straight. I think this is just we the have Catholic to do activities church. Activities now and skits. Yeah. Correct. Should I do the? Um, how do you want to do this? You want to start from the I bottom up? Sh- no, or I don't. Do you want to think we should reveal them? I think we should just let we should get them dressed off camera and then yep. come back and let the fans. I can get myself. I think I think that's a great idea. Can you show us the items that we're putting on? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's go with Kyle first. Did you give them your sizes or anything? So, no, we knew. We can look. We can look yeah, at the queen and know, know right frame. away. So Kyle will be in a pair of black unicorn pleather panties. Those are medium. Now you're gonna want to tuck for this. You're gonna want to keep that no, thing he up. No, I don't have to. That's for Nana. Those will breathe. <laughs> those will breathe. Those will breathe. We'll not have to now talk. you're also you're gonna be removing your top. I was expecting. Yeah, I'm glad yeah. black. I can do. There's your shirt, and you'll be. Put, this is your shirt. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> So you're gonna be putting no. that on. That was Joey's not idea, a not shirt. mine. Those were thirty dollars. Yeah, those were thirty dollars. Where's my real shirt? Well, that is. You luckily, just have to cover the nipples. Lucky for you, no one will be seeing your face just in case you get bar- embarrassed. You or pecker. If you I'm get all, no, I'm already mask got, enough. I do not. I do not need that. He's mask no, enough. No. He knows you, all you, the terms. Get that out of here. So we're gonna put this on. We're gonna turn KB into a little pup. I think that looks cool, Kyle. You're gonna look like a superhero. And then we have something also for Owen that he's gonna be behind the camera. What do we have? This is too much. Oh, that's for Owen's outfit. Okay. How do you wear that? Well, just a few different ways, but usually you can just, you know, it's it's, in, it's, it's, it's on the inside of that. Counts. And then we also have something for Nick. It's uh, equally as crazy of an outfit. This. Guys, what yeah. the fuck? You, just be a good sport, please. Just be a good sport. Be so, a good sport, Nick. Wait, 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 yeah, what else has he got? <laughs> that's it. Wait, wait what? <laughs> God, well, what he's... the fuck, guys? I'm not doing it. I have a reputation. Come on, do man. I have to? Oh, come on, do bro. I have to? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get changed and we'll be right back. All right, and we are back. Kyle put up a little bit of a fight with his outfit, but Nana was able to coax him right into it. So, Kyle, tell me what's going through your head. Do you feel more comfortable, more connected to the community? No, feel worse. Why? Because <laughs> red isn't his color. We all know that going into it. When we were shopping, I told you he does not like, he likes uh, cool tones. Kyle, how do you think I feel? <laughs> yeah, you're right. You do look ridiculous. Fuck you guys. Yeah. Are you uncomfortable? Hold this L. Yeah. G? Hold this L. <laughs> it's your beady eyes. Would you mind slipping it on just for a second? <laughs> Got a key. Just pull that, pull that pop mask down, Kyle. A pull Q. Oh. Not pulling the mask down. All right, he won't pull the mask and down. And he won't wear the nipple clamps, but. No. Well, you could ease into it. Like, I didn't bottom the first time I had sex. <laughs> I was forced to. <laughs> Is that true? I wish. First time, oh, I, first time I had sex, we used Vaseline intensive care instead of lube um, because we didn't have lubricant. What's the intensive care? Well, that's for the insides. Oh, what does okay. it do? Well, no, we didn't have Vaseline. We didn't have um, regular lube. And you know that back then, condoms were great. cap on to let people know I'm straight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just chilling with the boys. Yeah. Are you guys going to come on the pride parade with us? Um, uh, 
No, uh, fuck no. No. Why? You don't have to wear the glasses. No, I'm not. I'm not just, into. <laughs> yeah, I'm not into that pizzazz. Not yeah, from any parades. I I'm think cool with whatever. Like, I'm cool I with your folks. lifestyle. Just don't fucking shove it down just my don't throat. Don't force on you for sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Like that time you tried to make me smash pussy, and I was like, ew. That was interesting. We all did something very gay together. We were in Chicago. We actually visited the Subway sandwich shop where Jesse Smollett hate crimed himself. We yeah. did do that. That was a really gay, nice outing yeah. we did that for was, ourselves. That was, that was gay of us. That's what I mean for allies. I mean, they're there for us for all right. for all the things that we like to do. So that was a fun outing. That's a dream guest, Jesse. And then you put the noose around my neck and then you sprayed bleach at it's me. It's still there. And then yeah, Kyle actually glass. came on you. <laughs> yeah. After. You know, it is interesting that people dress so crazy around pride. And it's interesting the aversion that some people have to it. I thought that KB was going to be playing ball a little bit more than he is, but he's really. This isn't a, a like an anti-gay thing to not want to wear a dog mask. <laughs> oh, be really or nipple, know, clamps. or nipple clamps. Well, it's more about taking the role of pup. <laughs> I don't get. <laughs> <laughs> It's more about yeah. the pub. What happened to you, now, Marty? What we would do with we you. used to be hosting a basketball podcast. I know, oh, man. Now you're laughing at pub podcast. jokes. It was a really good show, too. You guys have a lot of overlap with, like, zoo files. Zoo, what's a zoo file? Zoophilia? Mr. I'm, Hands. Like Mr. A, Hands, rest in peace. Yeah. Zoophilia? You can do the math. Z- now, zoo file is with people who fuck animals. We're going to be in the parade. Oh, I'm, a little, I'm a little bit worried about where our position will be in the parade because I don't want to be around like the circumcision you have, like, protesters. We got a float. Well, Barstool, float. Barstool, Barstool sports. sports got us a float. Whoa. Newsflash, Barstool Sports got us a float in We're the parade. Well. Happy Pride. That's why our show got canceled. It's for the <laughs> yeah. float fucking budget. It's the float fund. Now, we did have to, we did have to slightly coerce, Let me coerce Miss Nardini into just a, a nice five-figure check. Um, but she did the right thing <laughs> and we had our lawyer reach out, letting her know that, no. that was the right thing. There's, there's no better way to, to spend money than on a float. There'll be women <laughs> the there. the most egregious. <laughs> We're like cutting corners around here. We go, listen, uh, we, do- we need $30,000 for a float by next Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Free up that checkbook, sweetheart. But it's going to be fabulous it. though. We're going to oh, have, it's going to um, be so fun. I don't know what we're going to have, but it's going to be colorful. I'm thinking we're going to have a sponsor. Is it one of the ones sponsor? blasting music that everyone's dancing the entire time? Everyone, yes. including yourself. I'd dance on the float. Let well, me, no, let you me, would let, not. Let me collab on the playlist. What give, would me, be, give me co-creator. You right? whatever he, you he want. Has, has right, we would sign that over in a heartbeat. I do have a gay note. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And you wear whatever you I want. I'll throw on some Azalea Banks. So oh, yeah. Some Charlie. I'm in the 212 hunt. Do it. Charlie XCX. Yes. Who else would you do? Depeche Mode. You're gay to get discovered in the 212. Caught the oh. licking in the water by the blue bayou. Caught the warm goo in your do-rag too, son. What does son do? Uh, that's a clip. Yep. Veronica, um, Sophie. You guys uh, fuck with hyper pop heavy, which is a little weird. I don't do, I don't really like pop. I think pop is played out like in gay bars and clubs. Like I don't want to listen to this like, like Charlie XCX and all this stuff. What about like, like, gang, like I don't hundred gangster decks? rap. Hundred decks? Decks. decks? We're talking about hyper What's pop. What's hyper pop? That's like when they like speed up the voices so it sounds a little squeaky. Yeah, yeah. I think I think hundred guys are DJ? the trans singer. Yeah, you could be our yeah. DJ. Yes, we were gonna have Jeski do it because I'll he has DJ. shirt. Yeah, well, he has to be shirtless. You'll you, be shirtless. You're can not, you invite like hoes on the floor? There's gonna be lots of hoes. We get a hundred like, as we as we, have, we go. As we, we have a hundred people who can go with us. All right, yeah, I'm gonna invite. So you can invite some friends. Bios. You can invite everything. We're gonna have girls like Brianna Chicken Fries. You make wearing a bikini. Casey Smith's gonna wear a bikini. You're painting Casey's tits, aren't you? I'm gonna put glitter on them. Yeah. Now, are there like badges or like any insignia to represent which? Type of Position LGBTQ you are? You are? You are? Yeah, or is that, that, yeah. is that, that pup mask problematic? No, of course. Yeah, you're problematic find, pup? Problematic. He's a problematic pup. You're going to find people who are into all sorts of things. Mm. He has an aversion to the dyke march. Well, my mother died on the dyke march. That's why. And he thinks that there's a connection. The, but his mother died was because of the dyke march. Well, I, mean, I think is she was off. I think she was off by it. No, it's really it called, called dyke march. It's called the dyke march. And a lot of them are, are and on motorcycles. And it's held on the day before Pride to just hear, to, 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 to just hear the lesbians from coming to the actual gay Pride parade. But they sit they, on, they start fights. They sit on that really? motorcycle and they it's rev it. It's not what it's for, but it's more for women <laughs> to have their f- first thing. Ladies first. Yeah. The lesbians come first. So the lesbians go first, literally in the parade. Is that uncomfortable? It's weird that I just didn't tell you no. Yeah, you could have. Oh, is consent a for pride now. Will you put the tube top on? Type of hierarchy. Well, oh, that could be good. Maybe a tube top for Kyle. Well, Joey and I want to do a little bit of quizzing with you guys, just kind of keep you up on some historical figures. Yeah. Um, and we can kind of explain what they are, and then we'll explain what the flag is, and we're going to play. No. We're, we're going to do a gay quiz to you guys to find out just a how gay, gay you are. Quiz? Gay quiz. Yeah. Quizzes it's, it's, are uh, inherently gay. No, no, no. <laughs> asking questions. <laughs> asking questions. Quizzes are, are no. Quizzes are gayer. No, text. no, 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 no. That's why they added the Q to LGBT. Quizlet is gay. It's for quiz. Q is for QAnon. Yes. Quizzes are gay. Yes. Quizlet is pretty much grind. Sporkle, but as well be scruff. Now we have to auction those off, dear. Don't don't yeah. don't get them too tight. If you want to actually go run a couple laps around the block and then take them off, we can ring them out into a cup. We can really get that charity money in. Um, I, you could have said no. I know. No, he couldn't have. Just let's just keep Here, your top like off, please. 
He does. Kyle, we really do appreciate your uh, participation. Marty, can we- You know what's funnier? Uh, the sunglasses lasted less time on me than yeah. Kyle and his uh, harness. Well, I'm feeling, I think I should get some festive outfits on. You wanna get this? I can do it under my outfit. Now, Trish, what do we have for the boys today? So today we have a quiz. We're going to pull it up. Uh, and Joey and I are, before we give you your gay quiz, we're just going to educate you on some historical figures uh, within the gay community. Jesus, and then we'll And kid. then we'll take it from there. Because at the end of the day, we want you both to um, suck our dicks. <laughs> so that's kind of what we're Ew, I don't want here. them to touch me. You would touch them? Yes. Okay. Marty, can we pull up the quiz, please? I'm a pleaser. So Joey, I'm going to let you explain who these people are because these are more from your era. Okay. Now, this is Dave Portnoy. <laughs> you know, we did the rundown with him. Yeah. I called was, it the roundup. I'm mistaken. When? I called it the roundup. Today? It was me, him, and me, Joey, and Dave. And it when? was like today. Today. So how, that's May oh, no. 18th. How'd it go? This. I think it went well, but then he then I got he heard that I pissed I got my mouth pissed in. Yeah. And he got grossed out. No, but he was it? trying not to laugh because he said you said you ejaculated when it happened. I did. Okay, so we originally were gonna have you guys stand up and just have this this the um the, we're going to stand up. We're going to have the camera just on your crotches. See if there's any movement. Yeah. For these things that excite gay people normally. Okay. Oh, yeah. Gay so people you like stand, Southern living? Well, this gets me, this gets my gears grounded. Really? Well, well you well, know, well, just, just like it's just perfectly, a, a, a breakfast nook, a breakfast nook. Wrap so, around porch. So wrap around porch. I mean, um, pastels, um, floral linens. <laughs> Throw well, pillows. Well, Southern common. living is very present in my childhood home. Yeah. yeah. It's a combination uh, game. So we're like, going to show these. You have slaves in your yard? <laughs> <laughs> my mother loves the magazine. We're yeah. going to show Love these, me. and I want you guys to one by one say the oh, first word that you... comes to mind when you see these photos. Well, this has words Sconces? on it. Southern yes. living. I, I want to say Southern. Southern. No, Southern. You, okay, you know what? Sweet yeah. tea. You can't shot. give us Sweet words. Tea. Sweet tea shot. So let's do the next one. Next, first word, Nick. You go first. Okay, ice peripherals. Peripherals, mm. Joey. Do you know what this is? I know exactly what it is, and I mm. see um, heavy elephant like trunk cocks pissing. Um, uh -huh. and, 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 and this and, is all one and compound doses. word, yeah. Mm. So, Correct. And, yeah. And, and um, heaps of cocks, your yeah. hairy bushes, fat you, balls, HOC inhibitions. This is when you can meet gays without being called out for being a meat gazer. Yeah. Yeah. A meat meat gaze. Gaze. We call it bird watching. Yeah. We do call it bird watch. Do you ever take you a glance? I the, do. At the urinal? Sometimes it just is there. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Next one, please. Now, Sandra, are you boned up? Okay. Um, does, uh, now, does, Mickey does, Mantle. Does this do anything for you? Any of you? Now, this is the Beth and Body Works candle sale, the annual candle sale. Uh, does this get you horned up? I went to the mall with Jeff D. Lowe, and he specifically went for this. Oh, he's the biggest in the office. <laughs> Jesus, thank you. When's that queen coming out? Uh -huh. Jeff D. Who wanted? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's your clip, you're... Sandra. <laughs> um, now this is anything, anything for you? I'm you about the spiritually, us emotionally, like gay sex, and that oh, would we'll really test it. I'm not going to get a boner to this. I was more of a Yankee I, I am intrigued. guy. Yeah, that's why I said Mickey Mantle. Yeah. Okay. Next. What about plants? No. Nothing? No. Indoor foliage. No, I think indoor foliage brings bugs. Okay, well, bug chasing. Do you know what bug chasing well, is? That's trying to catch yeah. STDs, yes? Well, yeah. well, one in particular, the good one. <laughs> the, 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 the big boy? The big, the big one. The big one. House uh, in Virginia, dear. The Dallas Buyers Club? Yes, next. That's how you get in that club. Now, this one might do something for you. Oh. Jeez, I didn't know that was on there. Can, uh, First word that, that has comes sores slide. on it. No. 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 Yeah, the colors are now. We asked you, this is the last time we asked Emily. A straight woman to picture Google a cock. If I if I what had my mind doing? would be first of my high definition. Yeah. There'd be pre cum. Uh, there my would first be word cock, is, cock, 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 Kyle, cock. cock. Richard Pryor live from the Sunset Strip. That doesn't do anything for me either. That is a. It's gross. I don't like that cock. Uh, oh, next. is that it? Yes, that was the last picture. So that about wraps up today's show. Yeah. Uh, we're, <laughs> now, was there any movement in the pants? Now, was there any movement in the pants? Thank you. Yeah, we're going to end the quiz. We're just going to leave that up. What did we get on the quiz? I well, think you did well. I think you knew, realized. Also, was, did she? Is that a royalty free cock? Did she pay for that? Like, was what's, that, that, I'm I hope sure it was that's, royalty free. Yeah. The expense that imagine that's probably from her that? DMs. That's yeah, probably from her DMs. The sap concur. Ro royalty <laughs> free that it wasn't. A, it wasn't like a Prince Edward or whatever it's called. I don't think that was a famous cock. Not a royalty free. That's okay. The quiz. Who doesn't? Emily doesn't have the quiz. What quiz? This is the first time well, I've we heard were gonna, of it. We were going to pull up what some historical figures and just kind of like talk to them about. Ooh, talk, can you just tell them? You know, Harvey Milk was yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Sean talk Penn. about Harvey Milk. You want to talk about he Harvey? Was the, the nah. Butterfly effect of San what Francisco being gay. Right yeah. Now. yeah. Yeah. He knows more than us. Yeah. The Folsom you know Street that? Festival. I've been there twice. Yes. Have you? Fair. Yeah. And you never get pissed on? 
No, I got flogged. Okay, good. What does that mean? What Spanked? You, mean? you oh, pee, like you pee a, in someone else's. Oh, that's when you pee in someone else's foreskin. No, 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 no. Not quite. I don't know what that is. It's I, don't know. It's, I know what docking is. Did you ever docked? I've never docked. Oh. Kyle? I've never found the appropriate outlet. Are you, is everyone here um, circumcised? Yeah. Oh, too, almost too he much. Was, sorry, yeah. He was circumcised sideways. Yeah. Horizontal. Were you there? Hot dog style. Mm -hmm. Sideways. Yeah. Everybody else's hamburger. St. Louis style. Yeah. St. Louis is right oh. down the middle? Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's how they do that. What is that? Uh, what do you mean? But it's in the middle. Vague. It just I have I have the they took off the yeah it's. Well, he has now. Trish is um, the bottom half of my cock finished. looks like a Frito scoop. A Frito's. Oh, I got it. Got it. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. Trish is half uncut because the doctor. Yeah. Didn't feel mm -hmm. like doing the full job. I can cover her up if I have to. If she needs to be modest, if it's cold, <laughs> she'll cold. Cover. I'll cover it up. Let's go through this flag and Correct. see what Ooh. all the colors mean. Okay. Everyone, hold, everyone hold their gender neutral flag up. This is Kyle? not gender neutral. Oh no, it's it's actually very segregated. Where's yeah, it's a series of different colors. <laughs> Where's the now originally, the flag was from red to purple, but not in this woke climate. Well, you know what happens? You, we're gonna be running out of colors soon. I you can't you say colors. Have. Oh. What Explain them. We have the three trans at the top. No, we can't. You just told them what it was. Oh, fuck. Well, that I knew that guy? was trans. This is for All right. I this is, is for mailmen. This is for postmen. This is for <laughs> Wait, what? Postmen? Yeah, post they used to be men. Po oh, I thought you meant post like mailmen. Man. No, I'm, I said mailmen. Okay. Male. Oh, male. Like male. Male. male M-A-L-E. Oh, what are, are you guys confused word? about? I said mailmen I thought, and postmen. I thought you meant like UPS. Oh, yeah. We were all both thinking like the USPS. Like the delivery service. Why would you ever think that? Because a postman is like a mailman. I shouldn't have. That was, yeah. Immediately regretted that. They wouldn't have their own spot. Mailmen. Yes. Male. Postmen. Okay. Post-operative post yeah, yeah, yeah. men. Post-operative yeah. men. Yeah. Okay. White Ooh. men. Asexuals. Which one's asexual? The white? Yeah. Is that true? I think so. Should I look up what they mean? Probably, right? You guys don't know? What's white? What white is right. What's the I run, think, dude? <laughs> that means dick like, homie? <laughs> white is just surrender. That's what we surrender are. Surrender cobra. I would guess white up. is asexual, because in white, like, the absence of all colors. Is asexual oh, that's philosophy. philosophy. Wait, but why isn't there an A in LGBTQ? For assholes? It goes, it goes IA, right? LGBTQ What's the A for? Oh, asexual. IA. What's I? Intersex. What is intersex? Indecided. Asexuals yeah. get get playing time in this. Yeah, I think For it's inclusion. Why? Where's bisexual? B. Oh, I know what each of them oh. mean. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Out. Yellow means urine. Okay. Yes. Red means blood. Yes. Green mean um, gangrene. Do you want to actually know what they mean? No. Yes. Yeah. I don't. Oh wait, do we it, care? It, is it actually like brown? Is, is, is it gay in the well, sense no, that like this means peace? It, it's all the dumbest shit. What it means? All right, red is about? red is life. Orange that, is no, healing. that's gay. Yeah, that's do we gay. need to hear it? Red no, I don't life. like those answers. Who else are we gonna have from the show? Oh, you guys are gonna play? get canceled. You guys well, we had a whole plan for this show, and then the it Joe called, Pat and Joe Paterno. <laughs> Joe Pat and Joe Paterno. Joe Pat Patel. We may be making our TV appearance debut, which we can't say where it is, but it might happen on June fourteenth. Well, don't say who we talking about. We. Not us. I've been on TV, guys. all of us. You been Are you coming to our live show on June on July sixteenth yeah. at, yes. at Stony Hall? Love to. Yes. We want you to be. Um, Actually, can you, can you open I won't us? be able to make it. I will be, <gasps> can you be the hype man. I will yes. be in P Town with my parents. We're going on vacation. That's gay. To your, P -town. Uh, your dad is going to P Town. He's the one that booked the hotel, and he's like, "Hey, I'm going here." This is how we invited our family on vacation. He's like, hey, I'm going to be in P-Town 16th to 18th <laughs> if you guys want to come. If you don't want P-Town, it's just Google it. And that's where, They're that's saying where, the, that's where the family uh, vacation is. you want me to call him? At the T-Dance, I would love for you to call your dad right now. Ask me if you've got, if he got his card for T-Dance yet. <laughs> What's the gay hotel? It's called The Crown and Anchor. These, there's, they're doing a family vacation at The Crown and Anchor on the 4th of July. What's your dad's name? Will. Will. Billy, let me speak to you straight. No. Is, wait, can we this speak to her? This is Jesus. Oh. What's up, old boy? Pops, uh, I'm on Out and About with Joey and Pat, and uh, they want to know about our vacation this year. Yeah, yeah. You're going to P Town. Did you, now, did you book T Dance tickets already, or no? He wants to know if you want to. we booked T Dance tickets. What that? What is a T Dance? First what, off, wh where what are you guys going, going on vacation? We are going to Boston for two days, and then we're going to P Town for two days. Okay. Who, who scheduled that? I did. Okay. <laughs> you were. <laughs> have you been to. By the way, I looked at the schedule too. Like, there's usually, you guys know this, there's theme weeks, right? Theme weeks. Yeah. Okay. Yes, exactly. You yes. looked at and the I, schedule. I, I, Wait, why? How did that? Did that just pop up randomly or did. 
Yeah. Well, everybody knows there's theme weeks in P-Town. Okay, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, on the, the drop-down menu of the website, you have to search. Uh, what theme are you guys going for? Father, son? Category? <laughs> oh, no. No, it's actually women's. It's the women's uh, theme week will be there. We're missing, like, the- Wait, the uh, theme is women, so it's going to be, like- Okay, so there's enough, there's enough seafood at the mean? coastal town. Now it's going to be even fishier. <laughs> Well, it's July 18th week, so look at that week. That's when we're going. But we're missing. We're going to miss bear the- Bear week. Uh, Is it bear, the week? bear week? You're missing bear week bear probably one week. <laughs> That's <laughs> the second week in July. <laughs> They'll still be- Are still you surprised I know this, Nick? No, not, a, not at no all. No one is. It's just, it's just tough. It's a tough pill to swallow, Will. <laughs> uh, all right, Pops. Well, right, man, love enjoy you. your trip. You Bye. Bye. <laughs> What a great, uh, okay, what a, yeah. I, 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 of course his father's fucking fabulous and like yeah. and, and amazing and lovely. Mm-hmm. What do he say to you? Hey, hey daddy boy. Hey, bo- hey boy. Hey, hey daddy's boy. <laughs> what do he say? What do he call you? Well, I'm his baby boy. He calls you baby. Stop. He goes, hey baby boy. <laughs> he goes, like, how are you, baby boy? Oh, not uh, that voice, Pat. Uh, I chased as com- we all know, we were on the same show. Pat only spoke in plantation voice. He did. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, it's southern. It's traditional southern accent, which Tra- I very <laughs> much enjoy. Traditional. Is that when they had a, a, a different color, a different style no, flag? No, I don't. What flag are you talking about? The one with the cross that looks like the British flag. They're not, you're not allowed to talk Is about. Is there a gay Confederate flag hybrid out there? It's this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be on our merch available no, at Store so so yeah, no. Well, do you know it's who made the same. first gay flag? Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Sandra. <laughs> Sandra Bullock. <laughs> you're absolutely right. I forgot about uh, that. It was right after Miss Congeniality 2. Uh-huh. I'd love to get your dad on the show. Uh, he would. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are we your first gay friends or was it, were, were gay people allowed in your, in your hometown? Now, funny fact, if, out and about, if you know, Kyle Ugh. and Nicholas grew up together from a very young he age yeah. right. in the same small town of um, Virginia. I was West, West, West Virginia. Virginia. For what it is, it was kind of progressive. Um, there were there were, a hand, there were several. We had a gay bar. I worked across the street from it and they had the best French fries in town. They had truffle yeah. on them. Oh. Mm-hmm. But it was Truffle's called. Rather, rather new. It was called. What was the gay bar called? Vice Versa? It was. Yeah. Fuck, uh, we had a gay. We had our own gay bar. Yeah. We should go back there. And, and it kept on getting just Molotov cocktailed. Really? Oh, it yeah, kept on getting was, bricks. Mm, oh, really? It was mm. very vandalized. Oh, yeah. It got uh, vandalized oh, bad. Oh, no. Did you guys ever partake? In it's the okay vandalization? It. Yeah, it's, it's, okay it's a did. safe space. If you did it once or twice or you thought about it, that's fine. You don't get the opportunity to break a window very often. Did you write a note on it like die and then you put it, shut it around the brick, <laughs> and threw, and then said, "Love Nick and KB." <laughs> <laughs> With they love. threw it in like this so you can see. No, we never. Uh, did you ever do that? Did I ever vandalize the yeah. hate crime the the gay club? Yeah, no. We Sandra, were, have you? No. Is, <laughs> I, I was I was in the gay straight alliance in high school. Smashing. Were you? Yeah. What year did you guys graduate high school? Twenty ten. Eleven. Oh my god. You know, we went on vacation. Listeners and watchers may not know. We went on vacation, the four of us, in Boston together. Remember uh-huh. we did our little night? Our, was, our vacation time out? is loose, yeah. Well, it, I think it was planned. We oh, had I was there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we had a nice night out that out. we decided to do our own thing, kind of get away from the group. Just four guys on the town, like-minded gentlemen. Well, Owen came too. Italian restaurant. Late. That was nice. We met a nice, a nice, oh, a nice mafia lady. Yep. But you were going through a straight phase there. He was, and you were yeah, all you said the entire yeah. night was "Let's go, let's fucking let's go." go. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm ready for bottom <laughs> surgery. <laughs> I chased KB around the streets with my testicles. Oh my god, yes. Oh, he did. And yeah. you what? Your testicles, his testicles yeah. were just yeah. out, and you were hiding behind like a pole. So the only thing you could see was your testicles. Well, that pole was his penis. <laughs> he was, yeah, he was hiding behind mm-hmm. that, and uh, you lifted your cock and you were hiding behind it, and. Uh, Kyle walked by and you said, Kyle, and he looked down and we all paused you. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, I bought him for I Grace O'Malley guessed. at the Bruins I, game. Is that true? Yeah. Remember, remember Grace O'Malley showed up at the club? At the she Bruins did. Club? I didn't know you she bought did. him for. I did. She's in the woods. Right you guys now. are, you no. guys are uh, pathological liars, which is yeah. fine. I Why? think it's funny, but it, you're, it's going to, it's going to come back to haunt you. What did we lie about? I didn't really bought him for. You, you, you guys, you guys do more believable ones too. So there's a bunch of rumors going around about who you fucked and who you didn't fuck. I only and fucked Grace. It, it might, it might it, come and back. You bought him for Jeff D. Lowe. You guys are running out of employees to talk about. I know, and half of them are getting thrown out of here. I know. R.I.P. All the good ones. Oh fuck! He did a candlelight vigil. Did you guys for talk her. about? You talked about it? No, we were asked not to. But should we? No. I mean, no, we gotta respect those. Yeah, yeah. we have to respect. Mm-hmm. Um. No. No. What no. questions do you guys have for us before we get into your hour? I, uh, Kyle, you take the you take the wheel. We have you nothing. Have questions? No, we have I have questions. I have all kinds. Comments, concerns. We got yeah. I don't know. You guys like to talk about yourself. Feed me a question. 
I'll feed you something. Okay. No, I wouldn't do that. Um, if you could, if you, what kind of kinks would you, you get a have? pussy if you could? Would I eat one? No. Would you get one? Would you? Would you? Uh, would you obtain a pussy on no. your butt? You wouldn't want a pussy. No. Why? I don't know. You've never thought about that. <laughs> I would feel mutilated. I, I, would feel, I would feel mutilated. Truly, I don't know. I, mean, I would like one for a day. I would like to be a woman for a day. Well, anybody would like a pussy for a day. I think it's just a lot of work. You gotta get the, you gotta get your pH. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta make sure you, you gotta make sure you have pads. You gotta make sure you got a panty sheet. You, you don't want to sure you want a spot. You don't want a spot. It's just like there's a lot of hygiene involved. This thing I can just let. Dangle. And you guys would make less. We make more less Sad. money. <laughs> That's true. Um, yeah, I don't want to. Would you want a pussy? Would I want a pussy or a pussy? Now, are you guys in any communities or friends with anyone in any international gay communities or so? No, Good Joey's a part of Nambla. So, what, what, <laughs> now, I would like you guys to, uh, I don't know, integrate the Argentinian gays. So you want us to become more inclusive? I think they're like the the French of Latin America, and they're they're stu they're really stuck in a in a bubble of oh. of uh, homophobia down there. Should we go to Serbia? Chechnya? Chechnya? Chechnya. We should do it. Maybe we should share, take some of our embezzled charity money and bring it overseas. That's what, what, what he's saying. I'm Is that what you saying, mean? I didn't mean to misgender you. They're saying. That's good. No, I would like Thank to you. go. I'd like to go on a vacation somewhere, a gay vacation. Hank wanted us to, Hank and MB were like, pick something you guys, somewhere you guys can go. Luckily, now we have the parade, but we were trying to think like, we don't want to go somewhere. Can not I like come Fire to the parade Island. virtually or no? Meaning? <laughs> Like on an iPad. Oh, he's gonna be. He's got a live show the night before. Wait, and, and so he's you, you were just out. in LA too. Yes, I love Los Angeles. Why? More it's than New disgusting. York. Disgusting. Not more than New York. It's just, no, it's not disgusting. I just love the um, weather. I love the, the palm trees, and I love the um, the chill vibe. And I like you know. That was the life. gayest thing you've ever said. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, I, and I, I think you, you tried to suck my cock earlier. Yeah. <laughs> that was gayer. Uh, I love fine dining. I love um, you know. All things East, West Coast. Uh, but I can never live there, I don't think. I, I'm a New Yorker tried and true. Do gay foodies have their own stereotype? Whether like um, they're, well, there's Jonathan Shedd. Culinary <laughs> habits? Um, no, I think I think most gays, I mean, except for Pat, I think most gays have a, a, a taste for the finer things in life. You yeah. Know, you know what I mean? But, Pat yeah. doesn't. No, I absolutely He has a ladder. You're a slob for anybody, I let alone any, sexual preference. You are, yeah. Any, any sort of taste for the finer, it's just, it doesn't do it for me. Yeah. You or much Joey, it's the opposite. Yeah. Do you think you'd do better with getting laid as a straight man? Did you, did you get more girls than when you were straight or did you get more guys? Ew, no, no, I like didn't try. I, I literally was like forced to like have sex with them and it was gross. No, um, I don't think so. I used to do well, but. I, you smash pussy. I used to smash puss. Have you ever? Yeah, a couple. Pussy? Have no, you ever? Yes, yes. It tastes like a handful of pennies. Oh really? Yeah. Is that what it tastes like? Pretty Have you close. Had a pretty close. Really? Is that close? I wouldn't know. You've Have never you done it? Oh fuck no. You've never <laughs> gone down below the belt. Me? No. No, hem. None we all exclusively, yeah. You have or haven't? I, I have more probably net total time <laughs> eating than fucking. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> He's a carpet muncher. It's it's like uh <laughs> it's the safe route. What do you, what's unsafe about pregnancy? But yeah, not in that. Well, saying, now with Roe v. Wade, you it, keep no, I think, trust it, me. This is this is you're gonna want this more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you ever? Anyone here have a pregnancy scare ever? No. Have you, Nick? In high school. Have you, Trish? Mm -hmm. Really, Marty? Uh, Sandra? Yeah, you definitely. You have Marty? Yeah, yeah. I did. I did. Yeah, well, Marty college. exclusively That's cream scary. pies. <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, big oh. cream pie guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We were talking about, I, I, yeah, why, why, who's like, who's like, fuck this when it comes to cream pies? I would. I would not. Why? I mean, I'd be so I, afraid I, I of getting someone pregnant. This. Yeah. No, yeah. But it's no, instant like, no anxiety. Like, no, one's like, no one would ever be it. like, that's, that sucked. Past but days. I mean, you know, you guys have your anxieties as well. Of course. Yes. That's my number one concern. <laughs> well, you can, can you, there's new stuff out there. You can take those pills and you don't catch it. But you don't have to take it for a full month after. It's not just a one pill and done. Like if you are, are exposed. Oh, are, you oh, talking, oh, are you talking about, are you talking about, Joey goes, oh, I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh, oh. <laughs> All right, thanks for listening. Uh, <laughs> you know, I gotta run. Oh. My, my pediatrician's on the line. No, no, what are you talking about? Are you talking about the morning after pill for AIDS? Yes. Oh, the, you know there's a morning after pill the for morning. HIV. Lemon party? 
<laughs> lemon party was written down on my thing. Look at <laughs> what is lemon party? party? Lemon yeah. party is like there's no you get way. <laughs> I'm pulling up lemon party. That's an old dick. I don't believe Joey hasn't seen lemon. Joey, you've seen old. lemon party. What is it? A porn? Uh, that's just that was just boys being boys. You yeah. remember? You remember bottle guy? Lemon What's lemon bottle. party? Jar guy. That was bottle guy. Here, Joey. Jar guy. Early 2000s shock website that featured three a uh, shock website. Yeah, remember that, that featured three elderly men having sex. Efucked.com. Rotten.com. There's a nice little Easter egg 15 minutes in. <laughs> Joey, pull it up. <laughs> no, there's some pretty actually deep references later in that mm -hmm. video. Yeah. Lemon Party. Lemon Party of Canada. Yeah, it's got to be the three old guys. There's literally no internet. And they fuck each other? Is it the three old? That's one where the guy, yeah. that's the, the helicopter. Yeah, you're, you might be good. No, that's meatspin.com. Meatspin. Do you know Yo, meatspin, Joey? No, I don't know any of this. Meatspin.com, there was a tally. It was a dick spinning. And if you made Please it to 100, uh, I, my friend told me it said, like, you're gay. Oh, they all fucked the girl. <laughs> they all fucked the girl? No. Uh, no, 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 no. This doesn't, meatspin doesn't exist anymore. Do you all remember two dudes, one stump? Yes. No. no. Tough one. Tough one. That? Is that Lemon Party? That looks no. like that looks like it's the theme of Lemon Party. Oh, this is Lemon Party. Yeah, stop. I like how before the show we were like, we got to make sure it's like we got like stuff planned out, not be too gross, <laughs> not low in common denominator. And here we are. Here Lowest we are looking. Oh, there's no, le but there's it, lemons coming out of someone's pussy. If anything, Ew. like if anything, what uh, you guys have made me like less accepting. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, I hate us too. We took him into a store to get uh, Kyle's outfit. And he had a full blown mental breakdown leaving the store I after you could see he was like, he went to the back booth and was like pretending to jerk off. He was what, happy. What happened? What, and what, then he left and this look came wow. over his face like a loved one died. He what goes, happened? he started going, I'm disgusting. Oh. I'm fat. These clothes are this, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I need I to dye my beard. He went full like depression uh -huh. mode. Oh, cause it's usually just so people gross. internalize that. They, no. They yeah. Bottle others. that up. Yeah. Bottle guy that up. What was it about you that made it, that made it so horrible and triggering? It's um, just, it's just like how everything's all about looks and like you have to be yeah. like young and hot yes, and then like otherwise me. you're not accepted. It's just like, just gross. We should go to conversion therapy. I would, that is awesome. my absolute dream. I tried so hard to dig one up online. What if it's so buried? You can't, f if you find one, I would be so happy to go. I would go what if, sure there's like what if you prove that it works? How great would that be? <laughs> yeah, what would you do? Would Joey you comes like, back, hey you guys, what's going on? Let's go. Hey brother, sorry about earlier. <laughs> yeah. I was acting fucking weird. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry about, about the first shit, uh, 35 And then he just years. like spits. <laughs> <laughs> he packs a fucking lip. <laughs> I think that would be so fun to go. You can, just I mean, you can definitely it. find one. You can yeah. have to do it. It's hard. It's word of mouth, probably. It's a lot of word of mouth. But does it always have to be Jesus? Can it, can it be actually like done on science? Like, I don't want to be like, just so like, um, guilt me in because of Jesus. Like, I want it to be like guilt. <laughs> like, Joey, I want science. Joey like, wants oh, a oh, medical brain. procedure. <laughs> Joey, yeah. if Joey comes back <laughs> yeah. with a lobotomy. You're talking about like yeah. atheism. Rosemary or Kennedy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to like, tell me like, you're going to go to hell. Like, yeah. I don't want to be like guilted in Catholic guilt. So I want it to be like, you know, scientific. <laughs> you, I want it to be, I do want it to be authentic. The yeah. last yeah. episode of Out and About is you having to put a pillow over his lobotomized <laughs> yeah. fucking face. The first I want open one floor over the cuckoo's nest. There was a Netflix documentary about it. It was something, and I, it was wild that these people, they would be like in front of like a Kmart in middle America being like, Jesus does save. I was homosexual, oh, y'all, yeah, yeah. but it the saved me. Yeah. yeah, that was uh, insane. unsettling, yeah. Wild. Did but I tried the, to find it. Did you see it. the Lucas Hedges movie? No, what I is that? Like he'd be attainable like to you. Lucas Hedges? Is that a porn star? The Manchester by the Sea boy. Oh, he played a, I love him. And I could, boy I could erased. see you guys. Oh. Boy Which, race. Yes, that was the name Let of the movie. Let me Google him. Lucas Hedges, okay. he's a redhead. Didn't he play the Joker? I feel like he might be gay. No, he's not. I tried. I started tying low for those dick pics. They didn't exist. Well, that's how you said it. Yes. Uh, you go on LPSG. Do you guys know what leaked? Uh, what is it, Joey? Oh, he's cute. LPSG? I can find his dick pics. Joey, how do you know definitely, that? He's gay, right? No, he's not. He's straight. Why well, would it be easier to find a celebrity's dick pics? LPSG is large penis support group. Oh, yeah. there's Those pictures of you guys on. There's pictures of you. There are there. pictures. Whoa, on whoa, whoa, whoa! It started as you, you know, guys. We were we mm -hmm. killed this segment like three months ago because we thought it'd be too fucking weird. But we just have to do it now. There's an entire thread. He's of naked right here on this website, and it's all people trying to find barstool sports guys' dicks. He's naked right there. Yeah, that no, doesn't mean he's gay. That's weird. Joey, pay attention. I'm dropping a bomb here. That's His not dick true. Dick is right there. You dumb fuck. That doesn't mean he's gay. Oh, I don't care if he's gay or not. Do you? Or did you hear what I said? What? 
League P- LPSG, the yes. bar stool thread. Yeah, explain to them oh, what it is. It's, like uh, so a basically forum. It's, a, it's a forum. Yeah, they basically like they pause on all your videos. Like KB, like running in his underwear, they'll pause and zoom in on his dick. And yeah, like, n- the, all, everyone, no one's safe. For me it is like, no, you're down. very popular on there. It's you, basically you, Donnie, and Billy but are football. They, still, they haven't gotten to the. They didn't find it yet. No, they don't found it yet. Okay, Joey, it's, Joey, you said I was on there when we first yes. it. Is that a joke? No, you were there. That was too. not a joke. No, you were there. Who's trying to find my dick pics? Here they are. I found the thread. You no, he was actually. How did you find that? list. So oh. it's Googling pictures of Jesus. Uh, you Yo. told, you told yeah, me how did no. you stumble upon I'll that tell you thing. how because geez, you told me that. That wasn't there was, organic. There was a video where Donnie, Donnie um, uh, Chef Donnie shows oh, yeah. butt cheeks. So I was trying to find Donnie, uh, Donnie's butt cheeks on the internet and uh, that's where I came across it. He said that he has, he'd say he mooned someone once and there was hairy butt cheek pictures and I found Dana Beers has a tattoo on his ass. I, I was in a deep dive. Dana Beer, how about Fasoli just got a Viva on his leg? Big old Is that Viva. a fucking joke? Mm-hmm. Big ol' Viva. We we uh, did it exclusively as a joke. We would say that. Um, I, I don't know. The, the lines are blurred with him. I think it's real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it is real. It has to I be think real. It's, yeah, yeah, what genuine. are you seeing there, Trish? Well, I'm just waiting for the images to load. So on LPSG, it says, um, Barstool Sports Guys, any nudes from Barstool? And read the quotes. Like, the um, uh, <laughs> Gay Pat, I'm sure, has some nudes out there. Sexy AF. El Prez, I bet, is just average. I'd like to see KFC nude. Um, I'm a big PFT commenter guy. Caleb has a crack shot on Instagram Thinker. Yep. Robbie Fox can get it. Um, let's see uh, if we can find Nick and Let's KB. see. Uh, command yeah, F. Command keep F. going. Keep going. Command yep, keep F. going. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, there's no Nick. <laughs> just KB? Uh, KB. There are them, but the photos won't load. We don't need to load them. No, we don't need to load them. We already but had yeah. enough loads for the day. That's uh, that's a real thing that happened. That's like some deep fake or like some deep internet stuff. Yeah. A little weird. Dark yeah. we're, just, we're gross people. It's very oh, weird. Yeah, that's gross. I said that it earlier. Gross. It's very that's gross. That's not gay. That's gross. That's predatorial. Yeah. Now he will take a stand. Wow. Well, this has been lovely. This has been really nice. This boys. is exactly what we had envisioned for our uh, thank you for Pride the, episode. Thank you for the quiz. We'll be able to use about three minutes of this <laughs> yeah. entire episode yeah. because it's it fucking up, blown. It up. Yeah. Sorry, Marty. No, oh, no, that's fine. No, so I'm saying sorry nobody was looking for your dick. Oh, oh. So now we're going to de-gay this house. Yep. And we're going to go over to mm-hmm. the real, the real, the straight show called Anus. Yes. So make okay. sure you follow uh, Anus on social and as well as uh, YouTube. And you can find us over there released right now. Thanks for having us, boys. Thank See you, guys. you uh, immediately. <laughs>